Hey, what up, fam? Anthony here, Dash Master. Where we focus here on tips, tricks, strategies, ordeals, anything gig related to help you become a professional Dash Master yourself. Hey, man, thank you all. Welcome to the channel. And uh, don't forget to give this video thumbs up hit that like button throw it up throw it up throw it up you know what i'm saying and uh like i said <clears throat> today is today is thursday man today is thursday and i'm gonna do a little i'm not gonna probably do a grub hub today did grub hub yesterday on wednesday hump day and today i'm gonna focus on doordash today i really need to get some get some earners in doordash so i'm gonna really focus on doordash a little bit today and uh, like I said, most people say acceptance rates uh, matters. Man, it don't. Check this out right here. Bam. Let me know what you think. Share your comments down below. That, the acceptance rate matters. Yes, I know many people won't talk bash or things like that. My acceptance rate is about 7 to 9% right now. If you're going to get it, you're going to get them. You know? Accepting the race don't matter, man. So you get orders like that, it pops up every now and then. Yes, I'm not saying it happens all the time, but I'm proving a point to you. My accepting rate is uh, about seven to eight, seven or nine percent, something like that. And that's what popped up. So does it matter? You tell me. Hey, right, let's go pick up this order. Talk to you guys later. Let's see what we're gonna do tonight for DoorDash. I might have an Uber Eats a little bit on a little bit. See how they run throughout the dinner rush. If I get some orders in, pretty good orders in, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. If not, then I'm going to um, stick with DoorDash tonight and the, the following next couple days. So we got to get that money, baby. Let's go get it. Peace. Welcome back, fam. Appreciate it. Appreciate you watching the video all the way through. Hey, we just had a little dilemma with that last order it was a stack order for twenty dollars or something i showed you guys and um dollar general was actually closed at 4 30 today and uh so i had to i still got five dollars and something on that order and then we got a seven dollar tip uh additional on the other it was going to the same pl same place same house or whatever but i did call the customer and let her know that that uh Dollar General did close at at 4:30 today, so she won't think she was really nice. She said, "Oh, that's okay. It's not your fault." Blah blah blah. I said, "Well, I just want to let you know if you didn't see your groceries with your pizzas and things or whatever, that's the reason why." Um, so uh, you know how people are; they think you're lying or whatever. You know, you, you, ain't, you ain't never had that trouble before. You know how people are. So just trying to test bases with the customer, let them know what's going on. You know, they don't know, so. But yeah, I, I got a seven dollar tip off of that anyway, so I ended up getting about twelve dollar or twelve dollar tip on uh, the whole thing. So that's pretty good. So we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep keep uh, see what we can do. Got the apps on. See if they're picking up later. It is five, almost five thirty. Uh, you know, right around this time they start picking up a little bit. So to about uh, to about eight or nine o'clock, then they start tricking. Yeah, we're gonna go see. We're gonna see what's up. Hey, talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Blow it up, baby. Blow it up, blow it up. See y'all guys shortly. Peace. Hey, what up, fam? Hey, I don't know. DoorDash shut me out of something glitching or whatever. I can't get back in there. Hopefully, I can get log back in there. See, can I get it? But in the meantime, we just picked up an Uber Eats for $15 and something. At advanced auto parts, so going for like eh, about eight miles or like 11 miles, something like that. It's not too far from the store to where the location is at, uh, so about eight minutes or so. So, we're going to pick up that package at advanced auto parts, take it out there, and then I hopefully I can get back in the DoorDash or whatever was going on with DoorDash. But uh, yeah, that's what that's what's up. So, let's go pick it up, people. Let's keep it moving. Peace. Hey, what's going on, fam? Well, that um, auto parts was canceled. 
most of the time I go to those places like that, then the drivers have already delivered it or something and I have to end up canceling the order. So it, it happened. That's happened like two or three times uh, since I've been going to those auto parts and places like that. Because most of the time they have their own drivers, you know, and so they delivered it. It'd be gone or whatever. So I don't know why Uber Eats does that, but um, and then we also picked up a, uh, a DoorDash. Uh, just dropped that off at the hospital. Uh, I should shoot a screenshot on that. Got a nice little tip on that as well. So uh, now we're just uh, on Cruiser Street. We're going to see if we can pick up some more. I don't know which one is going to come in, Uber Eats or DoorDash, but we'll see what's up. See which one comes up. And uh, let's go get it, baby. That's all we can What's up, fam? And we just picked up that shop and delivery. Took us about eh, maybe 10 minutes to do that. Knock that on out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, now we're going to drop that off to the customer. And, uh, it's about, probably about 10 minutes away. So we're going to go knock it out. So that's how we're doing it. And that was a door dash. Uh, delivery, so hopefully I got a screenshot for that and share that with you guys. Hey, let's go drop this off. Peace. Hey fam, got a, another pickup, DoorDash pickup at El Paso. I just picked that up right here. And then we also got a stack order for $8.75 going to Chipotle. So we get ready to head over there and uh, pick that up as well. And it seems like DoorDash is picking up a little bit, sending me some pretty good orders, not too many miles. So I'm happy, happy, happy. So we're gonna keep it moving, baby. Let's go get it. I post some screenshots of those those deliveries here. Peace. Hey, welcome, welcome back, fam. Hey, we dropping off this second order for uh, Chipotle. Got a nice little tip on the uh, other order there, like eleven dollar tip on that one. So. Uh, it was pretty good. That was pretty good. So we heading out here now to deliver to our second customer. It's a handed to me uh, request. So yeah, man. So I decided to give y'all a little ride along out here to where we heading to. So go from there, man. Just give you a little ride along here. So I hope y'all been doing good out there today. For this Thursday, 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 and I uh, hope y'all making your money. If you're not, I hope you're at home resting, chilling out. I took two days off this week, Monday and Tuesday. So, and then uh, picked up, picked up on it the rest of the week. And now I'm in the grind, man. I'm in that grind mode trying to get this money and I really wanted to focus on DoorDash today because I really ain't been having much furnace in no DoorDash in a while so I decided just to focus on DoorDash today and DoorDash guys has been blessing me this today with some good orders not too many miles uh, no more than seven eight miles at the max but I've been getting some killer tips as well so the DoorDash guys has been raining on me today. So I do appreciate that because your boy really need that money. Got to make that money. Got to make my goal. So uh, like I said, they've been good today. So had not had much Uber Eats come in since that first order that I shared with you guys earlier. had not had any other ones coming in lately. Uh, so... We may, we may pick up later on tonight. Probably going to dash to about, um, probably going to dash to about 8.30 or so. And uh, we're going to go from there and, and, and see what we can do. So, yeah, man. So, I hope y'all been safe out here. I hope you enjoyed the little ride along sceneries and things that I'm sharing with you guys. I hope you like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Share your comments below. Uh, do y'all like stuff like this? Y'all like sceneries and things like that? You know, just share your comments on it. You know, what y'all what think of it. And then, uh, 
I hope y'all subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ready. So uh, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a, a new video, you know, uh, about some things and topics and ride-alongs and things like that. Just sharing my love, showing some love, sharing my little experience with you guys. You know, um, just trying to have some fun out here. I'm not trying to compete with anybody. I'm just having fun, sharing my experience in my town, in my market, and with you guys, and, and hopefully you guys just like it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm still just having fun with it, with it grows. But I hopefully y'all do enjoy the little scenes and things I share with you guys. Hey guys, let's go drop this off, and then like I said, we'll touch base with you guys later. Peace. Hey, what up, fam? We just picked up a Jack in the Box stack order. Uh, Jack in the Box, and then we got Dollar Journal. Um, we got a stack order for 18 bucks, you know, going for like three or four miles, something like that. I'll post that screenshot up there for you guys. But like I said, man, I just wanted to clear things up that y'all, the proof is in the pudding, man, that you don't have to have uh, high acceptance rates to get good orders from DoorDash. If you know your market and you play the field, learn your market and you set your boundaries uh, your cost per mile and things like that you can make the money uh, up for what y'all what, what you need uh, for to meet your goals you know like I said guys I only do this part time I just do this from 4 to 9 or somewhere 4 to 8 30 I'm just doing this part time you guys are out there full time and y'all can make the money y'all can make that money trying to uh, accept trying to be, get a high acceptance rate y'all don't, don't need that uh, to my experience, the proof is in the pudding. Y'all see the orders I'm getting. Y'all see the customers are tipping. You know, I'm getting good tips, you know. So the proof is in the pudding, man. You, you don't need you don't need a, a high acceptance rate to get, unless you just really wants to go for Top Dasher or something of that nature and you want to do that. And that's, up, that's on you. I mean, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. But just know that you don't have to do that because you can still do it good orders without being a top dasher or in that market and things like that. I get pretty good orders from, from DoorDash, I mean, uh, in my market. Okay, so, if I, if I don't need to, to, to stress out and get, trying to be, get that high acceptance rate over 70, 70%, I, don't, I, I mean, I'm not worried about that. You know, so, uh, but I, the proof is in the pudding. Y'all see it. Y'all see my earnings. You see the tips. Things like that. So, but that's like I said, it's your own business. You do it however you want to. You can, you can do whatever you want to, but you know, you don't have to, to do that. So, but I do appreciate y'all showing the love for the channel, man. I do appreciate that. It is, it is Thursday, Thursday dashing. Uh, so we did do pretty good. We ran, we didn't run any Grubhub tonight. We only ran Uber Eats. Haven't got any Uber Eats yet. I might, you know, once I drop this off and it start getting a little bit darker, Uber Eats may start picking up a little bit. They used to start picking up about 8, so it is 8.13 now. They used to start picking up around this time, going into about 9 or 10 o'clock at night and things like that. That's when Uber Eats started to pick up a little bit and DoorDash slows down. It's kind of ironic how they do that, you know, and Grubhub, it pops off in the morning, I mean, afternoon, two-ish, three-ish, things like that, it start popping off. I get orders like crazy during those times between three to five, Grubhub is popping off from from that point on, from five to, to nine, DoorDash, and from, from 8.30, 8 o'clock to nine or 10, Uber Eats. I mean, so that's, what's, that's how it's working in my market. I don't know about your market, but that's how it's working in my market so far as what I've been I've been running the tests and, and, and trying to figure out what's my game plan for these apps. So, like I said, hey guys, I hope you like this video. Give it, give this video a thumbs up. Blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. So, and like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever your boy posts a new video. So you won't miss anything that's going on in, in, in this gig economy uh, lifestyle, baby. Dash Master here, Anthony here. Appreciate you guys showing your love. 
Hey, let's go get it. Y'all stay safe. Peace.